You may have run across this issue when trying to send a large attachment via email. For example, maybe you're sending a large file or a few photos and you find that your email provider has restricted size limits on what you can send. In this video, I'll walk you through using MailDrop, which is built right into the Mail app and can send those large files, photos, videos, and documents from your iPhone, iPad, Mac, and even PC. Thanks for joining me this week on Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you find value in the video. And if you'd like to join me for a live Q&A, sign up at the link listed in the description. Let's get started. To send a large attachment using your iPhone or iPad, you'll come into the Mail app and choose Compose in the bottom right corner, or you can choose to respond to an email that you've received. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Compose. I'm going to type in my recipient's name. I'm going to give it a subject line, and then I'm going to tap into the Compose area. When I do, you'll see that above the keyboard on the right-hand side, a little arrow pointing to the left appears. I'm going to tap on that, which brings me into the Options area. I can choose uh, my Images area, which will take me into the Photos app, or I can choose the Files area, which will take me into my Files app. For this example, I'm going to select Images, and then I'm going to just choose a bunch of video to get me over that uh, 20 megabit limit that Apple has. Once these have been added to the email, I can go ahead and tap on Send in the upper right corner, the blue arrow, when I do, another pop-up appears, and this allows me to take those images uh, to make them smaller if I want to do that, but I want to send the actual size. So I'm going to choose actual size, and when I do, I have the option to use MailDrop. I'm going to go ahead and select MailDrop. And now that email has been sent using MailDrop, and so those photos are uploaded to iCloud, and the recipient's going to receive an email that's going to have links to those photos, and I'll show you that in the next section. The individual that you sent the email to will receive an email with iCloud links to all of the videos that we added uh, to that email or images, whatever it is. So for me, I use Spark as my email app. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that to open and you'll see the email that we sent right here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on it to open and here you'll see all the links to each individual image or video that we uploaded to iCloud. You'll also see that it's available uh, until June 21st. So it, you have 30 days to download any of these images that are in that email. I'm going to go ahead and click to download. I also want you to notice that all of them say zero bytes because there's no information in this email. Everything is in the cloud. So if I click on one of these uh, links to download, you'll see that when I do, I'm taken into Safari and I'm taken to the link in iCloud. Once I hit download, you'll see that a pop-up box appears where it's going to prompt me to download again. I'm going to go ahead and tap on download and in the uh, URL bar, you'll see a little download icon appear. If I tap on that, it brings me into an option area that will take me to the download section. Once I tap on that, you'll see any downloads or recent downloads that appear in this option area. Well, this is the link that I clicked on. If I tap on that, it opens that particular download. 
you can also find your downloads. I'm going to go ahead and clear that and I'm going to swipe out of Safari. I'm going to come into the Files app because that's where this file will be located. If I tap on the Files app to open it and I choose the Downloads folder, you'll see that the video appears right here in the Downloads folder. And when I click on it, I can watch the video. So all of the downloads that you click on to bring to your device will end up in the download section of your device. You can also send large attachments uh, via iCloud.com. And to do this, you'll want to open up Safari on your iPad. I have already logged in to my iCloud account using my Apple ID and password. I'm now going to go ahead and tap on mail to open. And again, you'll just go ahead and either reply to an email that you received or come into the upper right corner and tap on compose. I'm going to just go ahead and tap into the compose section and I'm going to choose the attachment icon, which is a paper clip. And you have the option to go into your photo library, take a photo or video, or come into the files app. I'm going to go ahead and again, choose photo library. I'm going to select a video. It'll tell me the size of that video. I'm going to go ahead and say add. And when I do, it will prepare that video to upload it to um, iCloud. And when it's finished, a pop-up appears and saying, do you want to use MailDrop or do you not want to use MailDrop? I'm going to go ahead and say use MailDrop. And when I do, you'll see that it adds the image or video to the email and you can see it downloading into the email or preparing it on iCloud. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and type in um, my email address and I'll add a subject line. And now I can go ahead and just as before, tap on the send icon and the individual will receive the same type of email with the link to that video or images or files that you've sent them. So that's how you would um, do this from iCloud.com. If you come in to iCloud.com, I'm going to go ahead and just cancel this, and you get a message that says, uh, can't send via mail drop. Well, that's maybe because you don't have it checked off to send that way. So if you come to the settings area above mailbox and you select that, tap on preferences and then tap on composing. When you do, you should see a list here or, a, a, you know, that you can select that says mail, use mail drop when sending large attachments. Go ahead and check that off and then tap on done. And any large attachments uh, that you send via iCloud.com should be sent using MailDrop. Now you can see how easy it is to send large files, videos, and more than one picture. Unfortunately, there's a five gigabit limit on MailDrop. Apple also imposes a one terabyte storage limit for individual users. If you hit that limit, you'll need to wait 30 days for mail drop attachments to expire before adding more. Hopefully, that's not a limit you will reach easily. If you have questions or comments, drop them below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.